Hello there. We meet again. Welcome to chapter 4. I hope you enjoy learning with me. This chapter, you will learn about cost elements and activity based costing. You need to bring your calculator. There are a lot of numbers. This chapter is more on calculation. The topic outcome for this chapter are Number 1. You must be able to calculate Overhead absorption rate Number 2. You must be able to calculate Overhead using activity-based costing method Therefore, technically, you will learn two methods how to absorb overhead As you can see, they are traditional method and activity-based costing. Do you remember what is overhead? You learn this in chapter 3. Based on cost element, there are direct and indirect costs. Direct cost also known as prime cost, while indirect cost known as overhead. Yes, all indirect cost is an overhead. Overhead is usually classified into production overhead, which means all indirect costs incurred in production. Next is administration overhead, where costs incurred in the administration office. Next, Selling overhead, any costs incurred in securing orders. And, finally, distribution overhead, where costs incurred from the time the product is completed in the factory, until it reaches a customer. Traditional costing method Okay, traditional costing method also known as PCM, typically used, one rate or basis to allocate overhead to products. Normally, the basis to absorb the overhead are direct labor hours, or machine hour, or production unit. This is depends on major activity of the production whether they use labor or machine based. Stages in traditional costing method First, we need to identify whether it is a job order costing or process costing. If it is a job order, then, direct labor hour cost is assumed to be the relevant activity base. However, if there is process costing, then, machine hours is the relevant activity base. After we identify the basis, then we can compute overhead absorption rate by, dividing total overhead cost, with the activity based. But for example, I read it for you. Signer Enterprise produces inkjet and laser printers with a selling price per unit of 150 and 350 respectively. Last year, total overhead costs of 1,050,000 were allocated based on direct labor hours. A total of 15,000 of direct labor hours were required last year to manufacture 12,000 inkjet printers, and 10,000 direct labor hours were required to produce 4,000 laser printers. Okay. I stop here since we get all the relevant information to calculate the overhead absorption rate for traditional method. Focus, I highlight it for you. Therefore, the overhead absorption rate is calculated below. The formula as explained before, total overhead divided by total basis, as per question here the basis is direct labor hour. Thus, 1,050,000 divided by total of labor hour, which means, 15,000 of labor hour for inkjet printer plus with 10,000 labor hour for laser printer, total sum of 25,000 labor hour. The answer will be, Ringgit Malaysia 42 per direct labor hour. Do you understand? We take a break now. Anyway, if you want me to explain further, please get the paid version of this apps. Or else, 
you still can enjoy all learning by reading on your own. Okay, enjoy learning everyone. Bye bye.